a puzzle on mathematics. So, here is the puzzle for us and that is our arithmetic puzzle. Given a list of integers, find a correct way of inserting arithmetic signs such that the result is a correct equation. The idea to the problem is from Roland Burette. So, let us go for one example for the better understanding. With the list of numbers say 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, we can form, we can form the equations that is 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 plus 5 that is 4 plus 7 that is 11 is equal to 11. So, you see those numbers are there and we have put some symbols in between. So, these are the arithmetic signs we have put and now the things are turning to be a right one. So, now let us go for this 3 into 5 that is 15 plus 7 that is 22 by 11 that is 2 here really we are having this value 2 here. So, and in this way we can have multiple other solutions for the same set of integers. So, we are going to write one program on that and we shall show you that how these things can, can be programmed and how the outputs are coming. So, here is the demonstration for you. Here is the code for the problem. Here you see we are having one predicate called equation. It is having three input arguments. So, first one is the least and next one is the left term and the third one is the right term. So, this list will be split into left list and the right list and then we are calling the clause term on this left list which will calculate all possible combinations of this left list putting different types of operators and then it is evaluated a value will be in LT. Similarly, on the right list also we shall be going for calculations and the evaluated value will be in RT. So, if LT is equal to RT that means the left hand side is equal to right hand side if it is so then this equation will be giving the output true accordingly. So, now let me go for this splitting this term and other predicates. So, here is the term for us if there is a single element then term will produce that element as output otherwise if that a list of elements are there then it will produce T and here this list L will be split into left list and the right list and this term will be working on this left list and it will produce a left term the term will be working on the right list and it will be producing the right term and always remember this term will be true whenever the list is containing a single item in the list then it is coming to true so now so when the control is coming to this bin ex, a binary expression rather so in that case it is ensured that lt is containing a single item and rt is also containing a single item now this is our binary expression predicates so here we are having this lt plus rt lt minus rt lt star rt and lt slash rt while doing the division operation i must be ensuring that the denominator must not be equal to 0 otherwise the division by 0 operation or the division by 0 exception will take place so now in this way it is producing the required output t and that output t will be the output uh, output of this term clause so we have discussed everything in the top part now we are going for the splitting so l will be split into l1 and l2 and so that whenever we shall go for appending L1 and L2, I shall be getting L. But we should ensure that this L1 and L2, they are not empty list. So they are not empty. So that's why they must be having some header, must be having some head and must be having some tail. So that's why we are, we are forming this one as L1. So we are writing this one here as a comment, they're splitting the list L into non-empty parts L1 and M2 such that their concatenation will be L. So, we have discussed that one earlier. So, this is our predicate that is known as a calculate and this calculate will be calling in our goal or queries. So, calculate L we shall give a list, uh, list of elements, list of values and then it will call this equation predicate and equation predicate will put this LT and RT. We know that equation predicate will be true if and only if LT is equal to RT. Then we shall write, we shall write LT, then we shall put one equal to symbol and then we shall put right and then right term and then the new line will be occurring. And here it is fail so that it will not go on 
doing the recursion so after getting the output it will come out and this is my calculate for other cases okay let me go for the respective execution so here the program has been compiled and it is now exi existing in the memory so we are calling this predicate through this query calculate and we are passing 2 3 5 7 and 11 so if i press enter i'm finding this one so many different possibilities where the left hand side is equal to right hand side 7 minus 11 is equal to minus 4 plus 5 is equal to minus plus 5 is equal to 1 so minus 1 so 3 minus 1 i shall be getting 2 here similarly here also 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 plus 5 is equal to 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 so left hand side is equal to right hand side in this way we are getting this required outputs from this respective program i think the logic is now clear to you thanks for watching this video